guys, Unif Essentials here. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how you can reuse old bar stools. Now, I heard a friend saying that she wants to revamp her place and then these bar stools are going to go to the trash. She's far from me. I had to go get my own bar stools that are similar to what she had to let her know that there are other ways you can use these bar stools instead of throwing them away. The first thing I did was to take it out and spray paint it silver. I'm going to be starting off with two. So I spray printed two bar stools silver. I'll be making a shelving unit with these tools. When I started, I wasn't sure if I was going to use a trim. Now this is a rope wooden trim that I got from Home Depot. They're quite pricey, but I wasn't sure if I was going to use it yet. So what I did was just measure out the length that I need for the legs and kept it aside until I make up my mind. I'm going to be turning one over and then placing the second one on top. I noticed that you would have to gauge the legs to actually go with the one that's at the bottom for it to be balanced. Now to attach these together, I'm gonna use wood glue and mending plates. I'll use this at the sides and at the back as well. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. After this, the next set should be attached at the back. This has to be really sturdy, so I'm going to say it again. The next set should be attached at the back. I got this mirror tape from Michael's Craft Store and that's what I'm going to use for the front of the stools. After doing this, I then made up my mind on using the wooden rope trim. I used three long pieces of this, cut them down to size, spray into them silver, and attach them to the stools. For the shelves, I'm going to be using plastic boards. You can also use cut out pieces of wood for the shelves if you have them. It is important that you know that the size of shelf that's going to be on the stools will be different. And this is because of the design on the stools. I'm going to be covering these boards with mirror reflective paper and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below.
Now all I'm going to do is just place them on the wood that are already on the stools. This is perfect to be kept at a corner. It is such a beautiful shelving unit. Now it's gonna be even more beautiful if I make two so I can make a much wider shelving unit. I'm gonna be making use of wood for the wider shelving unit because I plan on having heavy decor items on it. I'll be using ship laps for the smaller size wood. I'll be covering all these pieces with mirror reflective paper as well. I had just one before, now I made another one. I'll be starting with the thinner wood at the top and then the bigger wood following it. And then another bigger wood that's gonna be following that one. And then the smaller wood at the bottom. Now it's time for the fun part, and that is adding the accessories to what I just made. I like to let you guys know that because the stools are really strong, this idea here can be as wide as you like. The length of wood that I used for this project was not long enough, that's why the pieces look like they're close together. Now it would look even better if you used longer wood to give them some distance. Adding push lights to this is gonna bring it to life. This is such a unique piece and I really love the way it turned out and the way the wood that has been covered with contact paper reflects and shines and it kind of almost looks like it's either mirror or glass. This is just one of the idea that I have for her and I have much more to share with you guys on how to use these bar stools to decorate your homes. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.